Hello everyone and welcome to a video of learning uh, as there weren't any uh, suggestions over the past couple of days uh, regarding what content to show of uh, what was happening in the chess world and we are waiting for the Tata still to commence. Uh, I decided to show you a nice way on how to checkmate with uh, king and knight and of course you know from experience that that should not be possible and you are correct if black or uh, for example in this case if black only has a king and uh, no pawns no pieces then white is unable to checkmate with with king and knight. Point being that g1 and g2 are covered by the king and the knight covers the h2 square. So the best that you can do uh, is to stalemate the black king. You would also need something that actually delivers check on h1 to deliver checkmate. And if the knight is on f2, delivers check, then the king can escape to h2. So while it's not possible to checkmate um, with, your, with your king and knight exclusively, it is possible if black has at least one pawn or maybe two pawns or maybe even more material. So I'm going to show you uh, three simple positions that are basically the same thing, uh, only uh the, the, well it they they can happen uh, sort of through a different position or a different move order so this is uh the elementary position where black uh, gets checkmated by uh, by the white knight and if you show this to someone who isn't really good at chess who wins this uh they'll probably say black wins this because you just push the pawn check the white king and promote the pawn to a queen they know that it is impossible to checkmate with only a king and knight but here the way you win this is uh by going knight to f6 and then only well now okay black can choose between g5 and king h1 doesn't really matter if king h1 you're gonna go knight to g4 sorry about that and you're gonna go for the standard setup that we are going to use to checkmate the black king in all of these positions. So king to f1, uh, you're gonna force h2, and now knight to f2 will be checkmate. That's how you do it. And it doesn't matter if uh, instead of king to h1, g5 is played. Again, the same thing. Knight to g4 with check, king to h1, king to f1, forcing the h pawn to move. It is the only move for black, and once h2 is played, the black king is completely boxed in, and now knight to f2 uh, will be checkmate. So it's the same as in the previous one that we covered if we had the knight on f2 only now the king cannot go to h2 as there is a pawn on h2 so that's the idea and uh, using that one we can solve pretty much um, uh, in any uh, such position where not all of them are of course uh, possible to checkmate uh, but uh, for example this one again similar we have to get the same position like in the previous one we're gonna go knight to g3 with check uh, or also we could just play king to f2 uh, and now after king h2 knight to c3 and we have to get our uh, knight to the f1 uh, to deliver check with tempo we have to put a knight on f1 with check to force the king on h1 uh, and then it's going to be checkmate so here king to h1 will be played knight to e4 king to h2 knight to d2 and now after king to h1 uh, knight to f1 not the not to deliver check but to prevent the king from going to h2 and a forcing pawn to h2 which will be the only move black will have and now knight to g3 will be checkmate and it's the exact same thing is if we start with the knight to g3 check instead of going for king to f2 king to h2 will be played again knight to e4 king to h1 black only has two moves king h2 and king to h1 king to f2 now we move the king king h2 knight to d2 uh, and now king to h1 you're basically using this king to d2 uh king f1 king to f2 maneuver uh to win that uh, crucial tempo you need to play knight to f1 while the king is on h1 and now black is again forced to play h2 uh, and knight to g3 will be checkmate which brings brings us to the third position uh, where black has two pawns but they are not connected so one is on the f file one is on the h file now how do you win this uh, using all of uh, the the ideas that you've seen now how do you force the exact same thing from this position have at it uh, while well, I give you a couple of seconds So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on uh, figuring out that it's the ex exact same position. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is knight to e5. Uh, this is the move you have to play now. It would be uh, it would be a, a poor choice to go king to f2. Probably the only two moves that you considered, knight e5, uh, or maybe, okay, you considered some other knight jobs, but also you consider king to f2. King to f2 would not work because after king h2, 
uh, sorry, not after king h2, after pawn to h2, uh, and now you move the knight because black is stalemated. Otherwise, black will play f3, and you cannot take it. If you take with the king, then the black king escapes. If you take with the knight, it's stalemate. And after king to f1, you will play f2. Uh, white will have to capture, and it's stalemate. So the only move that allows you to play this for a win uh, is knight to e5. None of the other knight jumps uh, will work here. Uh, king to h2 and now king to f2. Now we uh, use this to, to win a tempo. King to h1 or f3 doesn't even doesn't really matter. We're gonna play knight to g4 uh, and after pawn to f3 we're gonna play king to f1. Uh, pawn to f2 now giving up uh, the pawn. Knight captures an f2 check. King h1 and now knight to e4. Uh, we basically get to the position from the previous video as the g3 square is now covered by the knight and the only move that remains for black is the h1 square. So king h1 will be played. King f2 and now it's exactly the same. King h2. Knight to d2. We're going to play king to h1. Knight to f1. Only move pawn to h2 because the black king cannot go to h2. And after h2, knight to g3 will be checkmate uh, so yeah that's uh, that's the stuff there you have it uh, you cannot checkmate your opponent with only a king and knight but if your opponent has a pawn two pawns three pawns eight pawns uh, it is very much possible uh, so yeah, uh, that's the that's the 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 uh, video. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to wish a very happy birthday to Caroline A. Uh, and I would like to thank Anna Petanovic, Robert Kiefer, Welsh fan, and Frank Pluy for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check out two of my previous videos here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions uh, and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.